Morning, folks. It's good to be out here again. Another day to be alive and thankful for the Lord's blessings that we can get out and do this kind of stuff. Me and Travis are out here on a river hunt, but gonna do things a little bit different today. We're gonna float down and try to maybe jump shoot some birds, but we're getting out there a lot earlier than normal right now. Uh, we're gonna be going down our flashlights for probably 20 minutes to the spot where I seen a bunch of honkers. I got six floaters. I'll show you those later. They're FAs. I just bought them like a week and a half ago. Rigged them up. Anyways, we both got our 12 gauges. We're shooting heavy metal three inch four shot. I'm shooting a full choke. Charles has got a modified. He's got the Benelli Minchi. I got the Browning A5. I've got our dry bags with our gear in it. We're gonna go ahead and get started and get out there before it gets light. Shoot time. Well, we've already had a casualty. <laughs> Not a casualty, you know. <laughs> Just a. Uh... The river has already took something. <laughs> your your warmth. <laughs> Charles decided the, the to get out in the middle. The dryness of my underwear. Did it go down your waders? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. A little, a little bit down my back. Uh, got a little bit in my boots. Kind of got out in the middle. One tip. The water's usually deeper in the middle of the creek. It was the swiftness of it, though. I should have said something. What happened is I stepped out. I was on good, but then my leg that was still in the canoe kept moving with the canoe as it was going in the water. Oh, you did the splits? And then I did the splits. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, it's, it's, you can see it's right there. It's not that deep. It's that's, only like a foot deep. That's true. It's just the angle you hit. Yeah. All right. Well, we're, we're going to walk this part, and we'll keep going. It's a beautiful day, boys. Beautiful day. Enjoying every second of it. Good day to be alive, huh? Did you get one? Ah. Oh, check that out. Travis, see that? Check the river otter out. We've been paddling for about 25 minutes, so we're getting close, but it was dark, and I want to give you maybe a little heads up if anybody does that to try to come in somewhere in the dark in the river. The steam, as you see right now, that's on the river, when it's dark and you have your headlamp on, basically I couldn't see five foot in front of me. So that is something you want to think about. If you have not been down this, your stretch of creek or river that you're going down, I'd think about that because I have went down so many times I ended up turning my light off and I could still see somewhat it wasn't that bad because I've been down it but I was thinking man this would be super sketch if I hadn't been down before because you don't know like you know how deep or how shallow the water is if you because I like to stay in the deeper water so you don't drag on rocks because you drag on a rock the wrong way and it turns you sideways it'll flip you quick Travis, Travis, Travis. Come up here, come up here. Shh. Doggone it. Seventeen birds. Man, I can't believe they're here this early. Travis, I think they might be roosting on this at night. If I had my gun ready, I could have killed at least two. They were close. Well, we've been waiting here for about an hour, would you say? Probably. And we jumped those 17 honkers, as you've seen, and I didn't have my gun loaded. That was really stupid. I'm kicking myself now. I honestly thought, I didn't think they were staying here all night, but I'm pretty sure now they're roosting here. What I didn't realize is I was turned around a little bit. There's a pond straight to the east and a pond straight to the west, and they're in private. They're going between those two. That's that's the flight pattern I seen last time I was here. So this time, I don't know. We're not hearing them anymore. We heard them over there being making a bunch of ruckus for the last 20, 30 minutes. We haven't been hearing them make any noise. So I don't know if they're just snoozing or if they left the country because we never shot at them. So we're gonna wait here like 20 more minutes and then we're gonna hit the road. 
aka water. Let's see if we can shoot some ducks and maybe some geese if we come around the right corners. Hope is not lost at all. The day is young. We'll see what we can do. We're just weighing it out a little bit. I didn't realize I was this wet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing that for entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst, having a wet arm. Your whole left arm's wet, huh? Yeah, my back. My whole left it, arm. It went down the back side. It went down and kind of into the underwear and my phone off. Well, I wish we had like a little campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. They both dead? Huh? Are they dead? Did you do do you get two or did I get one? Or you get one. I think so. Yes. Sweet. Reload. And I should have shot again. Oh that one's a life. What? I did two. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Mm, I shot low on the water so the whole pattern won't hit him, but still don't look like he's dead. Yeah, I think he's close. I don't know. I couldn't tell if I shot a hit or a Drake. There's a hen and Drake, I don't really care. I can take, the, I'll take the hen. I'm just gonna grab this one, I was making sure he's dead. Ay, yeah, yeah, I hate shooting him that close. Man, that stinks. Dude, he would've got away if I wouldn't have shot him though. Yeah, there we go, boys. Another successful hunt. I'll give you the Drake, I'll take the hen. I'm just gonna eat her. This one's not too, Yeah? Yeah, she got messed up. Cool. And get skunked. Awesome. Ooh, more salmon, dude. Oh, look at him. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no! Oh, 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 oh man! <laughs> that was close. Dude, that was so close. <laughs> I do not know how you did not flip over right there. I didn't know there was a big drop off. I didn't either, I just went that way. That's the one I went over last time. <laughs> that scared me. Dude, that was so close. That was so close to... Did you actually get wet again on that one? Um, you know I don't know. <laughs> I was just like a panic mode, I don't even know. Dude, I was like, it's over. I was turning around, I was like, there's nothing I could do to help. <laughs> Man, I cannot get my balance. Well, that was cool. I, I think we both got one, but maybe Travis got both of them. I'm not sure. Honestly, I couldn't tell, dude. 
She is beautiful. She ain't even touched. She's huh? not even like no damage to her back or her feathers or anything. Yeah. She's, her wings aren't even broken. Hmm. So that's you probably shot that Drake. I, I thought I hit him. Yeah. But I, I'm pretty sure I got this one. I'll take it. I mean, but yeah. you can have it if you want to mount it. Yeah, we'll mount it. You just got some feathers that you just kind of disrupted, but nothing. Yeah. Awesome. That's such beautiful birds. Yeah. That was cool. I didn't think there was nothing right there. <laughs> also, I just looked at, I see them start swimming out. And I was like, ah, oh, you go for yeah. your gun. We both went for yeah. the same time. I was just telling Travis that I think the wind will help us a little bit because you can look at the tops of the trees and see there's wind. So it creates a little bit more background noise. We got pretty, I think we were pretty close to those when before they first they initially, jump, before they, they jumped. Jump. They're probably only about 30. But like I've said before, by the time you throw your paddle down, grab your gun, aim, yeah, they, they get, get out there. It. Yeah, they get out there they quick. Get with it. How many was in that group? Like six? I've seen at least five to five six. Five or six? Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Any trip, get one bird. To me, a kayak trip is worth it. Like that video... Um, it's right here. I'll put it right here if you want. Travis shot that honker early season. I didn't even shoot one. I just had just as much fun. She's got she's actually got a nice really comb. nice. Yeah, she's yeah. got a nice little comb in her back of her head. Yeah, she's a, she's a very mature bird. That's cool, dude. Nice. Nothing messed up. Uh-uh. No, she's not glass or nothing. He's he, not, really, he really ain't bad no, for his he's not. You thought, you thought he was much worse. With the full choke. Last time I went over right there, but you were right here where... I was kind of like right there, but... I did you not go straight into it? I did! And it kicked you sideways. But when I went, it got hung up, and then the back swung my back like this right here and dropped me in that hole, and I was like... Oh, dude. Woo! I had to leave this way right here because it was going this way. I can't believe you didn't flip. I can't either. That might show a little bit more of the stability of those Discovery 119s than I thought, honestly. I really... Like, if you would have been in any of those other kayaks, you would have went over. Oh, regular kayak? I'd have flipped. See, I went through this time. I went through here, and I didn't do it on purpose. I actually didn't recognize that being the spot for some reason. That's where you went through that. I went through, yeah, but I went through here this time because I was like, oh, it's deeper, and I don't want to hang up. Well, I thought it was just like a little ripple. You know what I'm saying? Like a yeah. little, because you can't see that drop right. off. I'm glad I didn't. That would just been, been. Did you go? Were you going for your gun? You have it tied off, though, right? I have it tied off. I was yeah. no, because I basically what I did is I tried to like stabilize the canoe because I was yeah. like tipping this way, and I was like, oh. <laughs> and then it just like steady, and I was like. That big old Sam, guys. This I've seen this. This he just looks really full. beat up. He's messed up, man. You can actually see it pretty good in this. Right there, guys. If you can see him. He's a good, what, 30 inches long? Yeah, probably. he's like. Not that you would even want to eat those. Yeah. He's really beat up. What do you think that thing is? Man, it's beautiful. See this? See that little one? Mm-hmm. Never know what you're gonna see down here. Trust, trust, trust. We're not done with the hunt yet, guys. Don't leave. But I was like so thirsty and I was wanting to whip out a little heavenly delight drink substance I'm glad I didn't because I think that would have been cel celebrating too early and it would have jinxed us I think we're going to celebrate because we have something to celebrate si gracias no. I'm going to say my idea in Spanish does that make the getting wet a little bit <laughs> okay I'm trying to look for the protein the nutritional the... facts yeah yeah any good thing in there? Orange juice, concentrated orange juice. There you go. Yeah. See lots of sugar and sodium. Everything else looks really bad for you. <laughs> someone said the other day, one of the other videos, they're like, find someone who looks at Mountain Dew, like how Titus looks at <laughs> I was like, or someone said Mallard first and then someone else said Mountain Dew as a joke. But you know what the thing is? I used to be stuck on them when I was like 16 and I stopped taking them because of Yellow Five. Being around Thomas and Travis have got me all hooked all over again to it. I got like two cases in my car. I will tell you this, since I bought Two cases of Mountain Dew, I've had nothing but good hunts. Fifth hunt in a row that I've got something and I had a really good time and something special happened. So just yeah. saying guys, hey, that's why I encourage you guys to go down the river. You never know what's gonna happen, honestly. It's, yeah, it's cool. And just the size that you see, you know, you never know what you're gonna see. Yeah. I you mean, don't necessarily we've seen have salmon, we've seen like a river otter. Yeah. 
Beaver. Travis different. almost flipping over. <laughs> Travis I'd flipping out over. For <laughs> so we're just a little over halfway down the river, so we got plenty where we could see more birds. I think we really will, especially seeing these now. This made it worth it. This was cool. This is fun. Let's keep going. Get him, get him, get him. Can't even shoot that. He was stuck in that tree, dude. Did you see that? You see what I was doing? Yeah, I, I know. Guessing. I thought that was like a raccoon or something. Uh -huh. hang out by the houses what do you do well guys that was a fun hunt always appreciate all the comments that you guys have give this video a thumbs up if you liked it one of the things i never said um on the last video when i was kind of showing you my setup is my gun case is a floating gun case but it's not in it it's kind of sitting in the front of my boat what's your thoughts travis on this thing we could have did better or anything no i mean i think we took advantage of the opportunities that we had we had those two that snuck out on the side of us or that was that, crazy. Or that rustling. Yeah. Yeah. They were like I thought it was like a raccoon or a quail or something. <laughs> or a ground squirrel or something. Yeah. Else. And if you're right handed and you're in a kayak, you can't swing. Obviously, you can only swing so far. It's like shooting out of a layout blind. You can only shoot Five so far degrees. to the right. <laughs> but the left, you can like almost go, you know, completely 90 degrees to the left. So I, I was stuck because I was on the left side of traps. I couldn't flip my boat around and he was stuck. So I tried to pull out a little Calamity Jane <laughs> behind the headshot. Dude, if that would have fell. That would have been the luckiest shot ever. That would have been epic. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you like these river hunts. It was, it was worth it. Like just, if we would have got one duck out of the group, I would have been stoked. That was so, fun. Yeah. Except when I fell in the water. <laughs> that part. Yeah, you're, you're dating. I'm pretty trying now though. Yeah. Well, on the top. Town's coming to pick us up and it was a good time. So hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on the next one.